So today we're doing a into Caroline's wardrobe. So I'm in Caroline's room. Yay! And like we did with me and Jyoti, we're doing a into Caroline's wardrobe because she's got um it's very her, she has very similar well not similar. She has a very defined look in like what she wears and she has lots of very nice clothes from charity shops and also brand new so we're going to be doing a into her wardrobe. <laughs> this is weird. I actually don't know what to do. I, I can do it for you guys but... So, Caroline's wardrobe. Yes. Show us what you got. Okay, hi guys. So this is my wardrobe. We're doing into my wardrobe today and that shouldn't be there, that should be here. Yeah, so normally you'd see a lot more stripy tops, but I've put them away in storage. Anything that isn't season appropriate, I'll put into the six boxes, which are behind the uh, Chanel bags and stuff, and up there. Um, but this is what I'm currently mixing up in my wardrobe, and I'll mix it up weekly and on the weekends. You guys normally see like a big IKEA bag um, mm. that I stuff all my clothes in just to sort out. Normally I like to wear, there are these two black tops. I love boat neck tops so much because they're so ver versatile and this is three quarter length. However, here we have a, just a longer sleeved one and they're so easy and you just tuck them on. If I don't know what to wear that day, I'll wear one of these two. <laughs> so, this is quite high. Um, what do I pick out? Uh, start with jeans. Jeans? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I've got on a, some slippers and my <laughs> Jamie jeans. Um, and this is another pair of Jamie jeans. They just last so long from Topshop and they're really worth it. Hang on. Where's my tray box? Hmm. I'm gonna chuck these ones out soon. Oh, that's because sad. They're so ripped now and stuff like that. But yeah, they're just so. But they last so long. They're so good quality. And Jamie jeans, they're high waisted enough, and they're just a really good material as well. They're not so flimsy and th thin. And yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. Do some more. So, what is your favourite? Um, shop. Favourite shop? Yeah. Can I say shops? Yes. Okay, so my favourite shops are um, Zara because of their basics and um, just, I don't know, they're really good quality for them and I know they can be quite pricey at some point but if you go into the sale it's going to be amazing but a bit packed with people but they just deliver really good quality and style. Um, and outfitters because you get that edgier look and you can find some really specific pieces. They're really loyal to students and um, they give really good discounts. Third, we have Topshop for my jeans, obviously. And sometimes you can pick up different pieces that are really nice. And also basics in there are really good. But also, Primark have upped their game. So if you want to find different pieces that, I don't know, like Heather said, New Look or other shops, they'll do it the same look but cheaper. I'm not saying the same quality but yeah. Tops. Okay so stripey tops. <laughs> oh gosh. Because they, no that's weird, it's okay I'll speak quickly. <laughs> um, yeah so stripey tops they're so easy because they already have this set design and the stripe ratio on this is pretty nice. I don't like it when the stripes are so close together. I hate pinstripes, I hate the stripes that go Vertically, mm, yes, yeah. Same. I like horizontal. Am I saying it wrong? What? Vertically. Vertically. Oh, but, I don't know. And when you're horizontal, you're standing up straight. I like the landscape. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this one's from Zara, and it's quite flowy and big. And this is a medium, but yeah, they last really long as well. The ones from Zara, they're my favourite. Um, and these two, they're from Gap. One's in the large oh, nice. and one's in the small. 
very different, but sometimes I like them to be really fitted. This is a, a nice oatmeal-y sparkly one, and this is a dark grey sparkly, and sometimes I like them to be baggy when you tuck them into jeans. Yeah, you like to tuck into jeans, don't you? That's no, your defined look. <laughs> yeah, I like tucking in because it looks so much more, um, shall we say, I don't know what you say. Uh, I have no idea what you Put you're together doing. when you, yeah, but I'm going to tell you we can do that. We have this, which is a similar oh, style. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Tell them the backstory, Heather. So I bought Caroline one of these because she sent me a link for Christmas um, that she would really like them. And then I bought it for her. Then the next weekend she decided to go out to Zara and buy one. <laughs> so it was very annoying. <laughs> So you've probably gathered by now that I really like Zara and this is a v-neck ribs long sleeve top. They're just really warm and comfy and inside, sorry it's pizza, um, um, and inside it's lined with like this fleecy material and it's so nice and these were 5 99 each and yes. Lovely. <laughs> the v-neck also you love don't you? Yeah the v-neck because um, I think sometimes collarbones are really nice in a v-neck mm. and um, yeah, v-necks. Um, what else should I be worn to? Oh, this camel, I haven't worn it yet. Oh, that's really but nice. But it's also cropped, so this is a serious crop. So I need to lose some baggage before I wear this. Uh, but it's such a nice nude like material and I'm quite inspired by the Kardashians and the Jenners because, you know, they look really good in what they wear and their style was just so poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is from Misguided. Um, this is a skirt that I got for Christmas. Um, you guys would have seen in one of my vlogs that I had bought this but in a size 10, but it didn't fit me because it was quite baggy. Um, but my sister got me in a size 8, which I don't think will fit now, you know. After um, Christmas. After Christmas. And it has buttons and it's just... I know they're quite mainstream at the moment, but I actually really like this type of Yeah, you've wanted look. one for a while. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's from Primark and it was £10, I believe. Yeah. Focus. There oh. we go. <laughs> Who um, inspires you in um, what you wear? Like I said before, um, the Kardashians, because they have that effortless, but also they they do it to their body, they do it to their body, they make it work for their body and it's just so slimline and I don't know, just really stylish and effortless chic I guess. And then also Heather because she, her charity shops her, uh, are her, her thing and um, I don't really go for her, for her style, just more <laughs> the way she rocks things and her attitude and her clothes and she just really likes um, and what she wears, I guess. I wouldn't say my family. They're all quite different in what they wear. Um, one of my aunts, she's very stylish, always buying new clothes and stuff, and that's it, really. Yeah. You're not meant to look at the price. Not meant to look at the price. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this is one of the best achievements oh, yeah. of a charity shop ever. So this is a monsoon, very tailored, and very sophisticated jacket and it's a formal one and it was only £10 and if I put it on I suppose you can dress it up all down yeah um, but some people say that I look like I'm going to a funeral but I like it I like that it fits my broad shoulders and um, it's I very it's fitted really, on you yes. it's really nice yeah she was really excited when she found this she was like Heather what's this <laughs> We have this I've Got unit, which we put together, and um, it has, firstly we have basics and ribbed tops and Zara v-necks, because I really like them, under shirts and things. Um, in here we have my sleepwear. I'm not going to show you the underwear drawer, but that is the bottom drawer, but this is my workout drawer and it has all my hoodies, leggings and sports bras. Then we have my shoes. You guys know that I love my trainers. I love trainers so much because they're so comfortable and effortless and you just chuck them on and they make them look fine. Um, so 
You work at a charity shop now. Yes. Um, and you hated charity shops when I met you. Yes. Why do you like them so much now? Um, because you can actually find really amazing things. And I remember asking you to take me out to the charity shop. I know I was quite snobby and only looked at the um, books. books and cutlery and crockery and all of that. But I've grown to like them more because you it's just like a clothing store. It's just that you actually have to take time to look through things and you can find some amazing pieces. Um, I don't know. Um, like that jumper over there with the stripes. That Zara, but that is... Um, from the charity shop and it was only 3 99 and it's Zara in it so you can't really complain when you find things like that but you know people give away things that are just brand new and expensive so yeah yeah um what is your favorite style favorite style like what is your most favorite outfit to chuck on to chuck on oh my gosh that's so high okay so pair of high-waisted Jamie jeans um a stripy top <laughs> and my leather jacket um, with a pair of trainers and my bag. Mm -hmm. My recent pair, which you would have seen, are my Nike Thea's and they're so white that I'm, I don't know how I'm going to keep them this white, but they're going to be really nice to wear. And I got them from Urban Outfitters. Lovely. Uh, my most worn pair has to be Those the ones. Converse. And because they're white, they go with everything. And because of the style they give off, it's just so easy to pair with any pair of jeans, any look, and you'll look fine. Um, these are a bit more, I don't know, what would you say? Well, you've started wearing them a lot more yeah. recently. Yeah, but they have an acquired taste, I guess. Not everyone will like them, my sister hates them. <laughs> and then at the back we have the um, Vagabond Gracie boots and they're pretty high and they give me blisters but I haven't actually worn them in properly and then at the back we have my running shoes but because I don't run anymore I don't wear them out for running I wear them out for just leisurely walks or just to college because they're really lightweight and they've lasted me a good year or so no I bought them this year okay so you buy a lot of new clothes and quite a lot of the time you don't wear them straight away why oh that's such a hard question yes i don't wear them straight away um i always keep the label on because i'm quite an indecisive person um i'll buy it because i like it in the shop but when you bring it home you don't always like it and the thing that i've learned is now that you have to try things on but you can't always try some of the clothing on like sometimes they have quite a small head neck slot piece boot that you can put your head through and if you're wearing makeup you don't want to be one of them girls that are you know passing their makeup onto the shirt or whatever um so i don't know i don't wear them straight away because i don't feel confident in it sometimes i feel more confident in different situations i guess um with uh, when i'm with different people like, I won't wear certain things with my family and I won't wear certain things with my friends. Um, but my friends give me more confidence than my family do, I guess. Um, I think that's it. It is. Oh, my accessories. So, here we have my Michael Kors watch. I wear this every day. It's gold and it has the navy dial and it has the chronography. Is that what it's called? You know when it has the three dials? Never heard of that know. word in my life. But anyway, yeah, it's just my favourite thing, kind of. Well, I like navy and gold together. It looks really nice. Yeah, you said that in your um, whole shebang. Dean shebang. I had to look that up shebang. I didn't know how to spell it. <laughs> yeah, I quite like statement pieces, yeah. but when they're statement pieces, I don't like them to be like whole flower things. I don't know, but um, I have them in this bowl thing. And this is a Zara bracelet that I hadn't worn yet because... I have the necklace as well. This is from Topshop, so they copied each other in a sense. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't wear them together. Would you wear them together? No, I don't like matching jewellery. No, but yeah, they're really nice. They're they're, they're really bold. Um, here, these are quite funky. These I got in the charity shop. I haven't actually spoken about much about the charity shop. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. Um, but anyway, these. They're really strange to look like piercings and they go on the 
wrist like so. Oh. <laughs> and then it's magnetic and it just slots in like that and then you wear it like that. Yeah. Lovely. Um finally we kind of had this. This is kind of like a choker style, but I hate chokers. But um, it just has the pearls running through it and you put it on and it just gives a plain v-neck top a different look. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what it says. That's everything. Uh, oh, I can't think of any. I'll just pause for a second. Um, do you think your style has changed? Like as you've grown up? Definitely. When I was younger, I was super sporty and athletic and tomboy. I wouldn't wear dresses. Well, I would, but I wouldn't I wouldn't complain about dresses and stuff. But I just wear boy shorts um, and just tops, just any old tops and trainers. Um, so that was me growing up, I guess, and wearing whatever my parents gave me. I didn't care because when you're a kid, you don't care, and what you think about the world is different to what you think about the world now, and you don't care about people's expectations or anything like that. But, and then growing up um, into secondary school, I was always the Hollister kid, because Hollister finally came to where we live. I guess I bought into the logo more than style. Um, I thought that the logo would always make um, an outfit be right. I bought it no matter what and I have loads of the hoodies left and I don't wear them, I just wear them for sleeping in now. And um, now because of college, yes, my style has become more me and you have to buy clothes for college because you can't wear a uniform, yeah. Mm. Um, so last one, um, you, I know you're quite, you love your patterns. Tell us about how you always would do like white black white black in what you wear oh routine so the way i wear clothes is mostly it has to be kind of color coordinated it has to be right like before i was saying with the hollister i had to do it um like that as well so i'd have like this shirt on and it'd be white but then i'd have a maroon hoodie on the top that was all hollister and i don't i i just had any old pair of jeans that were lying around I wear those, but then the shoes had to either be white or maroon, so I had that kind of outfit where you had to make the colours go together and in the right order, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so Heather's behind the camera, she's filming this, um, <laughs> but thank you for watching. I hope you like seeing what I like to wear, but that's kind of, I don't know, you see what I wear, I guess, and you know me, I hope. <laughs> Um thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>